Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another full game commentary. This one is going to be a very special one because I'm playing on the PBE and I'm playing the new Fiora. I have played probably like five games with her now because I love to play these champions to get a feel for them and understand them before I make these full gameplay videos because I feel like you guys watch my video to maybe learn something, right? To see how it actually should be played um, rather than just first impressions kind of thing, which a lot of other people do, but I feel like that's what you guys watch me, right? You want to see like maybe some cool plays or just really how the kid synergizes together and all that good stuff. So here I am and uh, I want to go over the abilities quickly then I'll give you my overall impressions of Fiora so far. So her passive, the main thing of her kit, it's like a uh, it's like a Quinn passive where it puts a mark on a target and then you can auto attack it to activate it to, do, to get kind of bonus effects. So this one, it procs it on the target and it puts it on one of four sides, north, south, west, or east of the target. So there's four potential areas, right? More or less like that. And if you attack it, boom, extra damage, that's percentage of their dam or HP and it's true damage. Biggest thing ever, you get a lot of move speed and you get HP back, which of course scales per level. And if you proc that mark, it actually reapplies the new one within seconds. Your Q pretty much just dash to an area. Uh, it's not a, it's a skill shot now. You can go over walls and you dash to an area and it hits something within that area. If you hit a target or an enemy champion, you get a much lower cooldown on the ability and it prioritizes targets that are low and or have a vital mark on them. From your passive, your W, pretty much the same concept. You block spells, but this time you can block literally anything like an Azir ult, Ezra ult, Morgana snare, and it won't snare you, whatever. It'll block it. And if you block something that's a hard CC, so like a Morgana snare, it'll actually stun else it'll slow your e ability you activated your next couple auto attacks two auto attacks specifically deal uh or 50 percent increase attack speed on them oh. all right where was i <laughs> excuse me i was too busy destroying the champion we all hate griffin I was doing that for you. That was for you guys. I know you guys hate Riven. That was for you guys. But anyway, her E ability, you activate it. Your next two auto attacks have increased attack speed. The first auto attack, 100% cannot crit, but it slows. The next auto attack after that, however, is the opposite. It will 100% crit. Pretty cool stuff. I need to probably back out of here. That was a really good kill and all, but I'm going to back before she ends up all ending me and killing me. Actually, maybe I don't need to back. Hold on. And our ultimate, you activate it on a target, you get increased move speed towards that target by, uh, you know, 20%, 30%. And it pretty much puts all your marks of your, oh, god damn. It puts your passive mark all over the target, so for all four areas, top, bottom, left, right. And if you proc at least one and the ultimate runs out, you actually um, get this healing spring around you that heals for a decent amount of HP. If you proc all four of them within the time frame, god damn it. Should've used my either. If you proc all four of them within the eight seconds that the ultimate is on them, you actually uh, get the healing, the healing kind of effect a lot sooner. Ugh, I should love. I, man, when, when I'm talking this much, it's so hard for me to concentrate sometimes. But that's no excuse. I should not have done that. I should have just left when I when I said I should. What I was thinking of doing was just popping my HP potions and just going all in on her. But that obviously did not work out how I wanted it to. Shouldn't have done that, but let's go ahead and uh, sell one potion. Okay, perfect. Boom. Perfect. Alright, I have a lot of damage now. And that's pretty much what our ultimate does. It's just put it on one target and you just become like a lot stronger in the duel. You know, 1v1 duel. So the, the hardest part for me with Fiora so far I've noticed is obviously proccing the passive. Like when it puts it on a different side, you know, you have to obviously go to that side to proc it, right? Which it could be a little difficult, but... That's the hardest thing, and facing a ranged opponent, I've noticed, is not necessarily easy either, but that's also when I was still really new with this champ, so now that I've played it a few times, I actually have a better idea. Maybe I can do better against the ranged champion now, I don't know. If she walks too close, I'm going to cure her and proc my, my, uh, my Q on her. Oh, rather, my passive on her. Like that. Nice, good job, dude. Perfect, got the kill on her. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'm gonna miss the cannon minion, but I'm gonna get this one just barely. And let's go ahead and push this in. Make her miss the S. She has, yeah, she does have teleport, which I don't have teleport. By the way, she has a lot of auto attack resets. So you wanna get team out on her because what I've noticed 
is that Tiamat actually procs her passives. If you just, as long as you activate the Tiamat on that angle of where your passive is. So like if the passive is on the left side of her, I have to be on the left side of Riven and uh, you know use the Tiamat there or the Hydra or whatever. I'm gonna actually push this in. But what I was saying is she has a lot of auto attack resets because what you can do is you can auto attack Q, then obviously the Q will do damage. Boom, right? And then you use your E auto attack reset, then you use your Tiamat auto attack reset. It, there's potentially three auto attack resets within her kit. But I want to go ahead and back because I'm pretty sure I have almost. Yeah, I'm actually. Pah. I might have to wait in base. There's nothing I can do. I, I'm just going to wait in base. It's only like 15 gold. It's not too much. I'm going to go right here. 665, yeah, I'm gonna have it in just a couple seconds. But that's what I've noticed, which is pretty cool. But on top of that, her Q actually procs on hit effects, which is a little strange to me, and I'll tell you why. But first, the reason that's good is because Tiamat, of course, being an on hit effect, you know, for the splashed A we start damage that it does, or Hydra, uh, your Q will proc that. So you can auto attack Q, and then, you know, you can clear wave decently quickly, and then Tiamat, boom, a lot of AoE damage, very nice. I have no CS, my goodness. Um, but the bad thing is, is the fact that her E ability, to me, the part that slows, is considered a non-hit, right? That To me, to me, that's a non-hit effect. I don't really see how it wouldn't be. Well, I'm missing CS like a bad boy. Alright. Which, to me, it's a non-hit effect, and but the Q doesn't proc the E slow, which... I don't really understand why. I truly don't understand why it would not proc it. Okay, I can need my passive on here. If I happen to W Riven's third Q or her stun, it actually, uh... I will stun her with my W, as long as I land the W, of course. So that's something to keep in mind. Nah, it's not the side I want it on. I need it on... I, I need it anywhere but the bottom. Okay, perfect. Like, that's not too bad. Like that. I don't know where the jungler is. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put a ward down. Okay, good. I was hoping no one will. I was actually really scared someone might be in there. I'm gonna put the ward down and I wanna go in this bush and wait for her. Luckily for me, she's clearing the wave awfully quickly. I don't think she should be doing that. Ah, I tried out playing her. I was waiting for the flash. Or rather her ult. I thought she was going to fire her ult right then and there. But um, she ended up waiting onto it just a little bit. I got the stun on her. You guys saw that, right? I, I W'd her. I think it was her third Q. And then I ended up hitting her back and stunning her. But uh, I don't know. I don't know if Riven... I don't know if Yora can beat a Riven. Just because Riven has a sheer... Like, she just has so much more damage. If The second she pops her ult... Um, so the amount of damage she can do in a short amount of time is much higher than if you are right now. So, once I get my items, I think I might be able to do more, just because uh, the stun will be more effective, because I'll be able to dish out more damage while she's stunned. But in this very moment right now, I'm not so sure. Let's be a little careful. So, like, what I want, how I want to do this matchup is I want to actually just poke her down with my Q and my passive. And then when she's lower, I'll go into the fight. But if she just hard engages like that, it's a little challenging for me to do much about that. Yeah, you can see that she does an insane amount of damage. Ooh. Yeah, Rengar's coming. All right, I'm gonna wait for him. If Rengar has ult, which he doesn't. I wanna let him have it. Oh man, he's missing. Oh, she flashed too good. I don't want to be greedy there. I probably could have went and got the uh, got the kill, but I don't want to risk dying because like, a lot of people do that mistake. I don't like that. Like sometimes you know she's gonna be she's dead. Like there's nothing she'll be able to do there against the Rengar being full HP coming after her. So might as well let him get the kill. Oops. And uh, ensure that I don't die and give her something for it. You know what I mean? I am. Fight the pickle. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, man. I I think I, uh, I I'm pretty sure his W didn't go on me. Um, I'm pretty sure it did not go on me. Or his E. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and get this. I like Triforce. I like Triforce Hydra. Hydra Triforce Hydra is really good on this VR. 
But that was actually pretty cool. So I, I W'd his E. I think I stunned him? I'm not 100%. I don't think I stunned him, actually. Maybe if if the E is a snare instead of a slow, I think it'll stun. But if it's... I think that one was a slow instead of a snare, so it didn't. Okay, I'll take, I'm not gonna... I don't care. You can go back. I'm just gonna CS this down. No problem. Got everything. Looks like Rengar is here for another Ganker Rooney. He has his ultimate now, though, so. Uh, if he has his ultimate, not sure. Then we can easily kill her. The second she appears, we can kill her. But I have no idea where she went. She just kind of disappeared off the face of Summoner's Rift. What could she have possibly have won? She might have back, but that's a very strange back in time, in my opinion. Oops. Hmm, I don't know. I'm just gonna push this in then, I have no idea where she went. Ah, I wanna get. Oh, there she is. She's there the whole time. Okay, if Rengar comes right now, we can kill her. I'm gonna pretend like I'm scared of her. Like I'm, I'm playing passively, I'm safe, you know? Oh, the snares. Nice, and that's the little fountain. You can, you can stand at the very edge of it, and we get a lot of HP back. You can see that. Very, very cool. Okay, let's go ahead and push this in. Boom. Boom. Auto attack. Auto attack Q for the reset to get the minions, and wow, it just doesn't want to hit me. Let me hit them. That, I just got like minion blocked extremely hard. But either way, I got it, so that's all that matters. At the end of the day, let's go ahead and pick up this bad boy here for the extra lifesteal. Pick up some boots because they're boots and we want boots. Um, how's mid lane doing? 10. Wait, oh, that's brand support. Okay, ooh, this guy's doing actually really good. Not a whole lot of CS above her, but definitely enough. Definitely enough. I'm actually still behind in CS to this ribbon, which is, I think, really bad on my part. I feel like I should not be behind that much. But let's go ahead and push, or rather, and push this room out of lane is what I want to say, but I accidentally was about to say push the lane, which is not the correct term. This is not worded, I know that. I wanted to use like an ability somewhere. Okay, we'll just do that instead. Oh, it rebinded, oh my, uh, ah, that was bad. Good thing I noticed that now though. I put my, my Hydra on the wrong slot. That's not where I like to have it. I like to have it on this slot here. Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea if I'm good enough. I have like, I have no idea how well I do in this matchup, right? Like, this is I've never faced Ribbon yet, so... No idea how well a Fiora would normally do against this. Like this the new Fiora, at least. Ah, yeah. Boom. Good. That was really close. I actually thought I might have been put in a bad situation there because I did not parry her stun. I did not stun her myself. I wanted to stun her, but I think I mistimed it or something. Go ahead and get this tower, though. Oh, so maybe okay, never I guess I did stun her. I, I thought I missed it. I really thought I missed it. Let's go ahead and get this. Oh, Rengar's not coming. Rengar's coming. I am in a pretty bad situation. I mean, if I had ultimate, maybe I can kill him, but I don't. Alright, perfect. Let's get out of here. Um, What do I want to get? I'm probably going to get a Phage and slowly start working towards the rest of the Triforce. Phage is really good. Triforce overall is really good because I'm, I'm, I'm obviously using spells quite often, right? So as long as I can constantly proc those spells over and over and over and over. Uh, it'll be good. Okay. Is this happening? Mm -mm. Can we change Rangers? Alright. 
Come on, make it in time. I don't want this to get too close to the tower. Okay, good. Perfect. That was kind of laggy right there. That was weird. That was lag. Maybe that's why the ribbon stepped up so close to me like that. Because I'm pretty sure I felt that lag as well. Now, I have a lot more items than she does. But, I don't know. Can I still beat her? I should be able to beat her, I think. Ooh. The, uh, the Rengar died. That's not good. That's not good. I kind of want to roam. I don't know. This thing's getting kind of boring. She's too busy raging at her Rengar. Let's go ahead and kill a Soriana. Can we? I don't know. I actually have no idea if we can. I'm going to put a ward on this blue though if it's up. Shit isn't. But I'm going to go right here. Oh, hello. Oh, this is bad. I want to get out of here. Don't want anything to do with that anymore. I want to get this Rengar. Ah, he's very lucky. Very, very lucky. Ha! <laughs> he snared me just as I was about to go for the finish. See, like, I get extra move speed whenever I have my ultimate on him, right? So I was going to chase him down without problems. But, not only did he snare me, which I could have W'd, which I didn't. I should have W'd that. Um, he also uses ult, so there's no way I can back on him. There's no way I can fight this Riven anymore either, though, for my ultimates. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. And boom. Ah, oh, come on, no! Yeah. I was hoping to make her flinch, but I, don't, I actually want her to back because I'm just gonna push this in. Get this 3 CS. Okay, and then auto attack E, auto attack Q, auto attack. And as you get back, I wanna. Pr yeah, I think I'll get this right here. This is a pretty good buy. The zeal, if I ever crit, um, that'll be a lot of damage. Now, I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm like 95% sure that my Q, even though it does proc on hit effects, does not proc critical strikes. My Q cannot crit. Like. I think, no, I'm pretty sure it cannot crit, period. I'm almost positive it cannot crit at all. Wow, they're calling though. Oh, oh, hey. Hey, you're dead. Oh, hey, oh. Man, okay, I'm going back up top, man. This ribbon's pushing it in. I don't think I can make it. I'm pretty sure that tower's gone, but I want to see if I can duel the ribbon. I have flash, I have ignite. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to flash her alt and or W a uh, stun. It's just ah man, she just she's just like not dying, man. She's not dying. Okay. He's yeah, he's a little he, he does seem a little frustrated, probably because the uh his Rengar didn't do anything but die to me while my Rengar ended up getting me assists and whatnot. I think I killed did I get a kill I can't remember if I got a kill off of our Rengar. I know I got an assist, but I can't remember if I got a kill. But regardless, it did help, you know. Go ahead and push this in. Oh, no thank you, no thank you. I'll go ahead and back out of here. I'm gonna put a ward right here. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. <clears throat> See what this ribbon decides to do. Okay. She stunned me. Got her. Okay. I'm running really low on mana though. That's the kind of thing I'm worried about right now. Definitely running low on mana. I want the thing to change mark. Perfect. Oh, I am in a horrible position. Yeah, okay. I deserve to die. Let's be completely honest. I overstayed hard. And the Fiora was there. Um. Yeah, I deserve to die. That was just... Really bad decision making on my part. I'm gonna get these boots here because they have a lot of AD damage. Fiora, Riven, Rangar. I wanna make sure that you know I don't die to them anymore, hopefully. But I can absorb as much damage as possible. The extra armor helping me, of course. And all of that good stuff. So I'm trying to like I don't know, I'm I am trying to push myself here with this ribbon. Like I oh not this ribbon, this Fiora. Like I wanna 
I kind of want to overextend in certain situations just so I can see like how how much can I do? Like what's the limits of this ribbon right now? The new or I keep saying ribbon. The new Fiora, like that's usually a pretty good way to get one, get better at the game, and two, just really understand the champion better. You push the champion to certain like scenarios where normally you wouldn't, obviously, but you know sometimes it's good to just understand from that um, the limits of the champion. I think I saw a wave coming somewhere around here. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Try. I succeed. Where is this ribbon? I have no idea where she went. I want to check out the boo. Wow. I'm walking, walking, walking. Wow, this Rengar there too. I'm assuming he has the ult though, because he got a kill just recently. And I don't know, I'm just going to assume he got the kill using his ultimate. Oh, wow, the auto attack from the Oriana. Shouldn't have fought that, but. Ooh, yeah. Nice, kind of assist for that. Perfect. Yeah, that was really close. Hmm, I thought I could do more there. I really thought I could do a lot more than that, but I didn't see the Oriana was uh, decently strong there. And I don't have Flash or Ignite. I used my ultimate, I think it was on Oriana, right? So I went pretty ham on her, but I couldn't kill her. I really thought I could do. More than that. I really thought I could do more than that. Is he gonna go? Probably gonna go bot. A lot of minions there. Do we have an ADC? No, we don't. Oh, we do. Sorry, Lucian, right, of course. Oh, Lucian's gone. Okay, I'll let him out, I guess. What is this VR building? Hex shrink it. Come. Oh. Oh, Perfect. Perfect. Rangar going ham, hey, man. He's he's butter still. I don't think you can get her. Oh, he missed time. so hard. Oh my god, he missed time. so hard. Oh my god, he mistimed it so hard. That is a misplay. 100% misplay. It's Ribbon, man, doing Ribbon things. I wanna get these bad boys here. Okay, I'm assuming Ribbon ulti, so. Ooh. Why does he have to have flash? I was, I was so close to having him. Oh god, that's so close. I, it's one thing I don't understand is I, I thought I absorbed his stun on his Q, so I thought it, my W will stun him. What, what, that's what I was planning on. And I did do it. I think I did it right, but it didn't stun him. Maybe he missed his Q. I don't know what happened. I really don't. Yeah, see it right there. Okay, so I don't know. I'm not sure what happened there. I honestly thought. Ooh, I don't. Okay. That is bad. But yeah, I really thought I had the. Uh, it's done ready. Hmm. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Gotcha, baby. Buff transfer completes. What's next? They own an ultimate. And that brand ultimate is, I have to say, doing quite a number. Quite a number. I'm gonna pop one HP potion here. I can get my HP back decently quickly. Once especially I get my Bloodthirster after the Triforce, I get all, oh, I have a lot of gold. I should probably go ahead and buy really, really soon, but.
Oh, whoa, whoa, oh my god. Oh, yeah. yeah. See if the skull crowd is up. I'm gonna pick that. Actually, no, I wanna back. You know what? I need to back. I'm praying this is not warded. I feel like it's warded. Uh, it's warded. 100%. Wow. Worst W. Oh, he left me. No. Yeah, right here. There's a juicy ribbon right here, boys. Thank you, team. The Rengar left me, man. Left me to die to the ribbon. That's not. That's not in my book. I don't. I don't want to die to ribbon. It's not what I want, man. It's not. That's not my plan. But let's go ahead and pick up the Triforce, and I actually can get a BF sword too. Slowly work towards my um, Bloodthirster. So the last game that I played, I ended up doing this kind of build. Actually, this exact build, except for my boots, which doesn't really matter. And I had an insane amount of life steal. Like I was life stealing off of the uh, Hydra or the Hydra. <laughs> I, thought, I, I forgot which one was the, which one. This was is that the Hydra, or the team at? But yeah, so off of that, off of the Bloodthirster, because like obviously on hit effects work with or like my Q since it applies on hit effects, it does count towards um, applying or life stealing off of the Q. So that's really good. So you just, you, I just like to on insane. Oh, hello. And I'm pretty sure if I W, uh, Oriana's ultimate. Got something. We can get this. We can get this. The cool thing is the fact that my E ability, the second part, the auto attacks, the crit, it crits on towers, which I think there's no other mechanic like that. I don't think anything else can crit on towers, but this one crits, which I think is fantastic. I think that's just amazing. I really do. I do have to say, I, I am enjoying this Fiora. Like, the current Fiora on the live server is just so stale and boring. Like, she is just not fun to play. She is so one dimensional. There's only just. X amount of things you can do with her sort of, you know? Come on. But this new Fiora, there's just so many cool things now you can do. Like, it just feels like the playstyle is more rewarding, more intuitive. Just, it's good. Yeah. I'm chasing you down, baby. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come to Papa. I have I have Triforce. She has no Triforce. So I should have more moves. I'm at... There you are, baby. She went the wrong way. There's no way, reason she should have went there because I can easily Q over the wall and do that. But yeah, I should have more moose speed than her because I've tried for us and I have the zeal portion of it, which gives moose speed. Oh, Rip to your face. Ribbon Summer up here. I'm 100% sure she went up here. Where? I'm not sure, but oh, she has to be up here. Yeah. Oh. See, now, look how much life I get back from this, though. Like, insane amount of life. 100 and, I'm pretty much getting 300 HP back every single second for 5 seconds. Absurd. I, I think that's an insane amount. That's a thing that might be a little too high, and that might need to get nerfed. Because I literally, it's 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 a pretty much a Janna ultimate. It's legitimately a Janna ultimate on an assassin, which I think is crazy. Like why? Why would she have a Janna ultimate when she's like an assassin type champion? <clears throat> yeah, this room is being very salty. I mean, it is just the PBE. You have to, we have to remember, like, I don't know, reporting on the PBE. Like, unless he's flat out, and I don't, yeah, two ten and two is not a very good score. But I don't think he's intentionally, he's not intentionally feeding by any, by any means. Like, he's, you can see, he's definitely trying to win, right? He's, you saw him like try one v one the Rengar. He's, you know, he's, he's trying to make plays. It just so happens that he's not fed, and he's nowhere near as strong as our Rengar, for instance. This Brand, though, let's, let's find out what he can do. Three eight three. So if I lose this, I will uninstall League of Legends. You heard it here, guys. If I lose this trade... <laughs> so 
so strong. Okay. Well, luckily for me, I don't have to uninstall League of Legends, so God bless for that. Thank you for letting me have some fun before I die. Oh, the lag though. So I'm, apparently I am all attacking them, but it's not actually. Oh, okay, there we go. Oof, wow. Wow, we wow. Oh, look at that damage. It's insane damage. Lag. Oh, the lag is real. The lag of Rooney is real. But let's go ahead and finish this game off. I think a 30 minute game to demonstrate Fiora is pretty good. I think this is a great game to demonstrate this off. Uh, Yeah, I think that might be it, guys. That's it. If you guys enjoyed this video, guys, if you learned something new or whatever, whatever, please definitely throw in a like. It helps me so much. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, check them out. Check my other videos. Subscribe if you have not. Share with your friends. All that good stuff. You guys know what's up. Follow me on my Facebook, Twitter. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you for the next one, guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.